Welcome back to TechOM eLearning. The main feature of the TechOM Order Manager is the possibility to quickly and easily create inquiries and orders to a large number of partners operating in TechOM. In this video, we show you how to start placing inquiries and orders for your new organization. Before inquiries and orders can be placed, it is important that a business relationship between buyer and supplier is created and activated. If you need help in creating new partner relationships, you can find more information in the e-learning video Connect with Partners. To start placing orders and inquiries, navigate to the Request an Order option in the left side menu and click on New Request or Order. This is the main window that will allow us to enter all the necessary data to place our requests and orders. We have two display options. At the top, we see the Simple View option, which presents us a simpler version of the menu. On the other hand, the Advanced View option gives us a more extended view to have a more detailed control of the orders and inquiries. Today, we will work with the simple view, which is the one by default. Once we have selected the type of view we want, we will focus on the top of the screen where it says General Supply Information. This field allows us to set up all the data related to our supplier and the order itself. To start, we choose our partner from the drop-down menu Supplier. In the next field, we can choose the Dispatch mode. These options will be limited by the supplier, as not all suppliers offer the same options. Check that the currency is correct. And note that by default, the Generated Order ID field is ticked. If we deactivate this option, we will be able to enter the order ID number we want. If we leave it by default, an automatic reference number will be generated. In the central part, we have the option of proposing a delivery date by selecting the Delivery Date checkbox. In this case, the supplier will receive the proposal, but it will be the supplier who will finally confirm the delivery date. If we leave the box unchecked by default, a standard date will be created for the order. The next field allows us to enter a promotion code from the supplier in case we have one. As for the delivery address of the goods, we have two options. The first option by default is to receive the order at the registered address of our tech organization. In case we want to receive the goods at a different address, we will select the second option use a deviating ship to address. You can find more information in our e-learning video regarding deviating ship to address. Finally, on the right hand side, we can see the order creation data. We have two more options. The first one, stock order, will change the shipping type in the dispatch mode field to stock order. This kind of orders are not time critical. They serve, for example, for the routine filling of the warehouse. Finally, we find the option Complete Delivery, which is used in case we want to request a complete delivery of the items when there is full availability. The next section, called Part Number Entry, is the section we will use to enter the items in our inquiry or order. Each line in this table will correspond to an item number and a specific quantity. To enter the codes of the items we want to order or consult, we will use the Product Number field. And then the quantity and the unit of measure. These order lines can be deleted or, on the other hand, more lines can be added as required. To add a line, Select the orange icon at the bottom right corner and we can see that a new line has been created in the table. Otherwise, 
If we want to delete a line, we check the box on the left side of the line and click on the bin at the top of the section. The option next to the bin will allow us to drag the selected lines to another shopping cart. Next, we have a button and a search bar that would allow us to connect our search for items with the TechDoc catalog. This option is only enabled for organizations that have both services contracted. Finally, the options on the right are the ones we can use to customize our table by removing or adding columns that are of our interest. Once you have filled in all the necessary fields, go to the buttons highlighted in blue and orange at the top of the screen. The Request button allows us to submit our order to see the availability and details of the items we have entered in our table. If we click on it, we observe that after a few seconds new information is returned to our order. In the table we can see a symbol that will vary according to the current availability of the supplier. A new section will also be open at the bottom of the screen. In that part, we find some tabs that provide us more details and information regarding our items and the supplier's response. And additionally, data about a possible variation in the order. When we have reviewed the details of the inquiry, we proceed to finally place the order via the orange button Order, located again at the top right corner.